Hello YouTube, Boss Freak here, taking a look at my Canadian C3 gas mask. Just making a re-upload to make a better quality video. I've had this mask for a while. I uh, got it for $40 with the mask new sealed in the bag from the Better Sale on eBay. So it came with uh, just the mask itself and then a finish filter for the M61. You can see the little finish castle there. It's all in finish. New filter weight. And the expiration date. This is the 60 millimeter filter with the in the 60 millimeter filter thread that the mask came with. And this this mask is just absolutely fantastic. It's super lightweight. The voice diaphragm is extremely clear. It has very low breathing resistance, and the nose cup on the inside is phenomenally comfortable. Even though this is a butyl rubber mask, it's so soft that it feels like silicone rubber, which is a definite plus. And the eyepieces give a fantastic field of view, allowing you to use uh, different types of things. I've seen pictures of soldiers using a blowpipe missile system while wearing this mask. It's a photo on Wikipedia. If you enter an NBC suit, you'll see uh, two Canadian soldiers on an exercise. This one right here is what I ordered separate. It's a 40 millimeter adapter for the 60 millimeter input on the mask to enable you to use the NATO type 40 millimeter filters because this mask is 100% usable just uh, the 60 millimeter filters might not be good for any sort of chemical protection so you're gonna wanna get one of these adapters some sellers include it with the mask but I bought mine separately just because I ordered the mask at first but I got one that was crap it looked like someone had shot it, shot it in the lens with a BB gun it was all cracked so I had to return it and then get this one so this mask is very similar to the British, I think it's the Mark II. The lenses are the exact same. And uh, strangely enough, this is very similar to my old junky World War II duty respirator with the same lenses, but it has the little flapper valve and then the huge filter on the front. So on, uh, mine's a size, this is a size medium, by the way. So now this has a six point head harness, like the US M17. And I have a manufacture date on mine. Mine's actually pretty new from uh, September of 87. Now looking inside the mask, it's pretty basic. You've got your nose cup, very comfortable. And a mesh guard over the voice emitter slash exhale valve. And you can see the two very big lenses. And then on the left hand side, there's the filter input. And this is just a fantastic mask. Uh, it's a must have for collectors. So let's go ahead and try this on. Alright, so this is the Canadian C3 gas mask. It's uh, very comfortable super lightweight and the voice diaphragm is one of the clearest I've ever experienced. The mask lightweight is definitely a plus. You barely notice it's on there. And it's just so comfortable. It's insane. Now like I said, it's got the two very big eye pieces. You get an incredibly good field of vision. And it has a filter mounted on the left side so you can shoulder a weapon while using this mask. Although if you are a lefty, you either have to learn to shoot right-handed or you are out of luck. And the breathing resistance of this mask is incredibly low, it's extremely comfortable. The only thing, the only thing that lets this mask down is that it lacks a drinking tube which means you are unable to refresh yourself in the field in a chemically contaminated environment without taking the mask off. 
I just, oh, I, I love this mask so much. Another plus on this mask is you can use it with a helmet, either the M1 or PASGT. So again, this, this mask is a must-have for any collector. This mask, for me, would get an 8.5 out of 10, simply because it lacks a drinking tube and ballistic outserts for the lenses. At least there are no ballistic outserts as far as I know, but until I find some, this mask gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe.